Okay, so loss of function mutations in PCSK9 are basically mutations that uh, affect LDL cholesterol levels uh, and lower LDL cholesterol levels, and uh, hence uh, they also lower risk of uh, ischemic heart disease. And the loss of function mutations, they, they are basically valuable in the sense that you can use the, these genetic variants to say something about uh, PCSK9 as a possible drug target. The lipid effects of these loss of function uh, mutations in PCSK9, well, it, uh, some data does seem to suggest that there might be small, smaller effects on triglyceride levels, reducing triglyceride levels and increasing HDL cholesterol levels at least for the more common mutations where we have power enough to look at this, but uh, it's still unresolved, I think. But of course, potentially, this could add to risk. Uh, adverse effects associated with uh, PCSK9 mutations I think uh, the, the best examples are really some rare examples of individuals who are compound heterozygotes for these mutations. That means they have two copies uh, of different mutations uh, in this gene, and they don't appear to have any uh, adverse effects of having this phenotype, although they have extremely low LDL cholesterol levels. But this is uh, pretty anecdotal. If you look at uh, the most common individuals, those who have only one copy of the, the mutation, uh, they don't have an increased risk in, of diabetes in our study, for example, and they also don't have an increase in uh, liver parameters, so no indication that they have serious liver, di liver disease or accumulation of fat in their liver.